All right, we're going to look at a follow-up problem to our previous problem about a uh, particle moving according to that velocity function there. So this is related to now, how can you look at the position based on your displacement? So finding the, the actual position, you need to know a position at some point here. So you're given the fact that at the beginning, at zero, time equals zero, the position was nine centimeters. So if you want the position at five seconds, that's going to be equal to position at zero seconds plus net change from zero to five. Zero to five. Or in other words, it's displacement in those five seconds, which we already worked out. So use a symbol here. S at five is S at zero plus integral from zero to five of that velocity. Right, you can use that definite integral there. We had this was nine, we're given that it's nine. And this from before was 35. So that gives us 44 centimeters. That's the actual position of the, the particle at the end of five seconds, different than its displacement. That's actually where it's sitting on the, on the number line, not how much it's changed. Now, the other related question here is, what if we want a function in general here for the position? if all we're given is the velocity. Now to write an actual function for this, instead of saying s at five is equal to the integral from zero to five, we are going to write s at t, position at time t is equal to our nine plus the integral from zero to t. We'll use that as a variable. This upper limit of integration is our variable here. and integral of v of t except that we got to use a different variable here because we've already used we've already used t up there so we got to use x a dummy variable in here now that's an acceptable function because if we're working with our calculator it doesn't matter whether we actually do the algebra to work this out or not so we're going to leave it just like that All right there's our function for uh, position at any time starting position plus net change in position there